Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This is going to be my Arrow Episode 8 video, part 2 of the big crossover setting up Legends of Tomorrow. Just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. The Reverse Flash Ring giveaway is also still going on now. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Because I already explained most of their backstory, Hawkman, Hawkgirl, Vandal Savage, in yesterday's episode, I'm going to start with Top 5 WTF and then I'll just do all the extra Easter eggs. There was a bunch of extra stuff, most notably Oliver's son. But here we go, Top 5 WTF, starting with Flashback to Ancient Egypt. We thankfully actually did get the origin sequence. We get to see the JLA origin story for Hawkman and Hawkgirl. I'll argue that it's a bigger change for Vandal Savage's character than it is for Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Like the Hawkman Hawkgirl part of it is almost exactly from the comics. Vandal Savage is just replacing the half set character in that origin story. So the cool thing there though is, is that they definitely confirm Nth Metal. So those falling sky rocks that destroyed King Ramsey's empire are Nth Metal meteors. That makes you wonder how much of that is stuck on the planet. Like Cisco makes that little nth metal GPS device for her at the end. Maybe they'll end up using it as like the DC Universe's vibranium. Very rare, but very precious. So naturally, nth metal is the key to defeating Vandal Savage. But, e but even still, even though they added nth metal to the special gloves, to the power gloves that they gave to Barry, it still takes a lot of power to defeat Vandal Savage. Speaking of which, on my number four WTF, their first try to kill Vandal Savage completely fails Everyone dies in this horrible explosion and Oliver says, run, Barry, run. Some of you during the episode were asking me, you know, like, why did Barry see like the second Barry running next to him? Well, turns out he was just time traveling. And you can kind of tell that they want to speed through certain parts of the logic in the episode. Like Barry immediately is like, oh, you know, I think I time traveled. He doesn't think that it's anything else. For those that are asking why they don't do that more often, they're actually going to address that on Legends of Tomorrow, like derping through time. We can totally change our past and nothing bad will happen. That's going to be addressed on their time travel show. On to my number three WTF, Vandal Savage, round two. So I guess the first time it's implied that everyone's distracted, they don't have everything they need mentally or physically, they're just not able to win. But the second time they learn about the nth metal twist because Oliver gives Cisco the big call to action. Talk to the woman you clearly love. I don't know if we're at the L-bomb yet. So the fight sequence is pretty spectacular and the way that they kill Vandal Savage is really cool too. Like he just turns into a pile of ash. Giant question mark because it's like, hey, we just, we saw him in the Legends of Tomorrow trailer. How does he come back? There's really two things there. So on to my number two WTF, Merlin gathers Vandal Savage's ashes in a special urn, speaks the same words that Savage was speaking to Hawkman and Hawkgirl about his hate following them across all time and says, you owe me one, buddy. So you just shake your fist in the air and just go, Barrow Man. But the real question is, is what is Merlin going to do to those ashes? Does he know about another Lazarus pit? From what the showrunners have said, the Lazarus pit is the only Lazarus pit. So unless it's like the comics and there are Lazarus pits all over the earth, I'm not really sure how Merlin's going to bring him back. Dollars to donuts is going to involve some form of magic. But just to clarify, at no point in the comics has anyone ever been able to dump an urn of ashes into a Lazarus pit to resurrect someone. Like it, it actually has to be a real body, like they have to be somewhat whole. But the, they're definitely not going to explain that to Legends of Tomorrow Episode 1. Now that airs Thursday, January 21st. I saw some of you guys asking about the schedule. The Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow all come back that third week in January. So it's Tuesday the 19th, then the 20th, and the 21st. And it'll be three nights. I think Legends of Tomorrow has at least like 12 or 13 episodes. It might even be 16. I, I don't know if it's been confirmed yet. But aside from Oliver's Child, it was a great way to end the episode. Like Merlin gets to be the villain that he's supposed to be. It's fun to see Merlin work with the team, but like when he gets up in Oliver's face and is like, I will end you if something happens to Thea, that's the Merlin you want to see. But of course, on my number one WTF moment, Oliver meets his son and they have a moment together. So here's the big explainer for this. The, the showrunners actually did explain. That is not Connor Hawk. His name is William Clayton. The reason why they chose not to make him Connor Hawk is because they knew they probably wouldn't be able to use that child actor on the show, but they still wanted to be able to do Connor Hawk. So Legends of Tomorrow will get the Connor Hawk character. It just won't be Oliver's son. So the next big question, like how often is Oliver going to visit this child? Like, how's that going to work? What's going on with him and Felicity because he lied to her the second time and that was kind of a big deal the first time. So the showrunners also confirmed that the lie will become a big deal. They're like, if there's any secrets on the show, they always come out. So eventually Felicity's going to find out. There'll be huge fallout, but we, we don't know how that's going to go. They didn't say whether or not it's going to nuke Elicity or, or anything like that. But I think what's going to happen with Oliver's child is, is that we won't see him on screen. Oliver will just mention him a couple times a season. But don't expect any big storylines with Oliver's son to be happening. They, they said that they were essentially paying that off for good with this scene here. 
So even if you're bummed out that Oliver's son isn't Connor Hawk, just be excited that we'll get a version of Connor Hawk on the show that will actually be called Connor Hawk. Couple other Easter eggs of note, when they talk about St. Rock's University, that, that tape where they learn about the nth metal, St. Rock's Louisiana is the place that Hawkman and Hawkgirl are from in the comics. They're also going to visit that place during Legends of Tomorrow. Vandal Savage also drops a bomb. I taught Robin of Loxley to use a bow. He taught me to not feel pain. So lots of fun stuff. Just expect in the future whenever they air this as reruns to air these episodes back to back because it really is kind of like a two hour movie setting up Legends of Tomorrow. Here's my big question for you guys though. Like let me know in the comments what was your favorite moment but the, the real big question is is next year because they'll have Legends of Tomorrow all these other extra characters do you think that they'll try to expand the crossover? Like there's been talks of a Supergirl crossover. She might cross over with the Flash. Would you want to see an even bigger crossover? Do you think they'd be able to accomplish that? Or do you think they'd have to do it in like four episodes instead of just two? The problem when you have all these characters on screen is that you can't always do service to all of them. So sometimes it helps to have fewer things going on in episodes. And that doesn't really work for big, big, huge crossovers. So yeah, it would be awesome to see like Supergirl and Constantine show up during the Arrow Flash crossover next year. Somehow, I, I don't think that the story would be able to accommodate them. So if we do see like a Supergirl crossover at some point, it'll probably just be with one of the shows by itself. Like it probably won't be an Arrow crossover and a Flash crossover at the same time. But in related big news, if you guys didn't know, there's a new Batman vs Superman trailer posting tonight. Depending on when it drops, either this video will have posted first or that video. But either way, I'll put a link in the description, so no worries. While you guys wait, just in case you haven't seen it, you can click here for that Batman vs Superman trailer. And you can click here for part one of the crossover, the Flash episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.